with Harlow's Earth and today we're going to be talking about Miralex. Now many of you guys know this, you've seen it in stores or maybe you own it for constipation. Now how many of you out there actually know that many doctors and pediatricians prescribe this to children? So it clearly says on the drug warnings on the back, it's not for people under 17. Yet, many pediatricians are recommending it for children to battle their constipation, even over long-term use. So long-term, like over a week. You know, if your child's having issues with constipation that are lasting longer than a week, there might be another issue at play than just typical bowel movement issues. So maybe a dietary allergy, things of that nature to start looking into. But the reason why we're talking about it today is because there's been some <clears throat> news with the FDA and some research groups that are looking at how there are some psychiatric and neurological events that are happening in children as a side effect to the use of Miralax. So what it says is that the FDA has received a number of reports of adverse events in children taking PEG products, which are these. The agency has conducted a review that documented numbers of reports of neurological and psychiatric events associated with chronic PEG use in children. So other parents are claiming things like rage, depression, extreme behavioral issues after using this for long-term long -term use. So what are some things we can do to avoid using Miralax? Let's just throw that out right now, right? Not necessary. So there's plenty of other things that you can do to combat constipation for your kids. So I'm gonna give you a list of eight of my favorite, well, actually nine, because the first one should be diet. You should be reviewing what your diet, what your kid is eating. If your child's eating a ton of bananas, they might be constipated. If your child maybe is allergic to dairy or gluten, those are some common reasons for constipation. So some other ways though, if you've already ruled those things out, you've been doing the food journal and you're still looking for a way to get rid of that constipation because it is painful when they're little, is my number one, pea foods. Plums, pears, pumpkins, other things too like dates that aren't necessarily pea. Those things help get the system flushed out. Good. Number two, fiber. You need fiber in your diet. You can do that just by adding a little bit of bran in their smoothie in the morning. Easy, easy peasy. They'll love the smoothie. They won't even notice the bran. Make some bran muffins, banana bran muffins, banana chocolate bran muffins. They'll love it, right? Number three, catnip and fennel extract. So you can just add either of those to a little bit of water and that's some instant tummy relief. So that really helps. Uh, number four, breast milk. So you've been storing breast milk forever in your freezer, you've got a whole freezer stocked full of it. Guess what, it has a ton of uses. Check out my other blog too on the many uses of breast milk for the whole family. This is one of them. Breast milk is so helpful with digestion. Another one is goat's milk. Goat milk is much closer to human milk than cow's milk, so it works wonders in terms of digestion. So if your child maybe has a dairy allergy, goat's milk might be a happier alternative. All right, number six, Digize. It's an essential oil blend. It's awesome. You take a little bit. It's already pre-diluted. You rub it on your child's belly and gets things moving. Good, right? Number seven, glycerin suppositories. Instead of laxatives, you could go this route and it will just help, um, help get things moving. So, not so much fun, but it will work. And then lastly, a lot of mamas swear just by the great old Q-tip trick, where you take a little bit of Q-tip in some, a little bit of uh, lubricant, and you just swipe it right on the inside of their little bum, and that helps to just trigger, <laughs> trigger something, you'll know what. And maybe it might just be some little rumble farts, or it might be a lot more, so get ready for that one. Um, I would save that one for last, unless you really, <laughs> unless you just itch your fail safe and it works every time for you. So anyway, um, remembering that children do get constipated as they are growing, as their diet's changing, so it's not something to necessarily worry about if it comes up once every blue moon, but if it's something regular, it is something good to check out with your doctor. Um, but if your doctor's avoid, um, telling you to go with Miralax, you may want to try some of these other remedies first. 
All right, thanks for watching. I'm Cassie again with our Tree Hugger Baby blog from Harlow's Earth, creating products that are good for baby and good for earth. Thanks, check us out at harlowsearth.com.